name is Amal Nirgun Kaur. I'm the CEO of Patient Prism, and I'm delighted to have uh, Mitch Olin from Dental Care Alliance in our studio. So thank you, Mitch, for joining us yeah. on, uh, on discussing all things DSO. Uh, one of the big questions I have for you is, you know, you've, you've, you've built a DSO that's pretty large in, the, in, this, in this country, and over the last 20 years you've been involved in, in, in not only running it, but, you know, scaling it. Um, and, and, and so what are the lessons that, it, like when you, when you sit down over a glass of wine and, and think about, um, I wish I had known this um, 10 years ago or 20 years ago when I started out. Uh, what are those lessons that you think people in your, in your shoes that are 10 years behind you or 20 years behind you or who are starting out building a DSO? What kind of lessons that you've learned that you wish you had known then? And, and yeah, I think, you know, I think a lot of what I wish I would have known would have come from having a mentor within the, org with, within the industry that's, that's gone through some of these things but, uh, or, or gone through building a business. I mean, we've ramped up and grown uh, at, at quite a, uh, an aggressive pace over the years. Yeah. Uh, and and probably the, 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 the greatest challenge was you know, finding good people to grow along with you. Okay. Uh, you know, this is a relatively new industry. It still is a new industry. But sure. when we started, there was nobody that was, you know, running, uh, you know, multi, you know, uh, uh, regional, multi-state groups. Sure. And, and to do that successfully, you have to have people with a certain skill set, but they also have to understand dentistry. Sure. And so, you know, hiring ahead of the curve for us was something that I wish I would have had a better handle on. Sure. Uh, you know, we, we have great people within DCA. And we've always had great people within DCA. But as you grow, sometimes a position outgrows the, the, the capability of an individual. Sure. It doesn't mean that there is not room on the, on, you know, in the organization for them. It just means that you have to address, instead of trying to nurture something along that, is, you know, that probably doesn't have a good chance of success with them in that position, you need to be able to look at it and say, this is not the right person for this job and what I need out of this job today and move them into a different role and then find somebody that can take you from point A to point B of the next chapter of the growth of the organization. Uh, that is something I wish I would have had a better handle on. Sure. Um, you know, I wish I would have also, and this is just pride, okay. um, I wish I would have been uh, you know, quicker to admit mistakes, whether that be you know, knowing when to pull the plug on a location that is not working for whatever reason. Sure. Uh, the, the facility is not right, the market has changed, um, you, know, it, it, you know, it's time to renew the lease and, you know, the, the, the ego and pride of I'm going to succeed at all costs, sometimes you make decisions that, uh, that you should step away and say, is this the right decision for the organization long term? And that could be around people, it could be around locations, it could be around services. There's a lot of things that, uh, that as entrepreneurs build their, their, their companies that they want to believe that they can power through any challenges put in front of them. Yeah. And, you know, and sometimes it's just best to say, you know, I gave it my best shot, I'm going to put my resources over here and, uh, and, you know, and, and we're, going to, we're going to be better for it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that you know, it, it is something that uh, if, if there was somebody mentoring us along the way, I think we, would have, uh, we would probably would have worked through some of those issues a little bit sooner and faster. Sure. Uh, another thing, you know, we're, we're an affiliator. We're, we, we have grown primarily through um, affiliation, sure. whether that be individual practices, small groups, large groups. Sure. DCA has is, is probably been one of the more successful, if not the most successful, at integrating in groups. Sure. Uh, the, the consolidation of the dental space is happening very rapidly. Sure. There's a lot of groups out there that, uh, that you know, they, they, they hit a wall. They don't want to do it on their own anymore for whatever sure. reason. They want sure. to join a larger organization. Uh, and, you know, we've been very successful in bringing them in. But one of the things that, you know, probably didn't give enough um, you know, credit to was the different philosophies or cultures within those organizations and sure. what it would take to move them in the right direction together. Uh, it takes time. It takes a lot of nurturing. It takes a lot of, you know, um, uh, you know uh, meeting and finding commonality and common ground. And then, you know, ultimately growing together and growing stronger together, which is actually DCA's tagline. Sure. Uh, but, you know, to, to get to where we're at after 24 years of doing it, um, you know, we certainly do not without stubbing our toes, uh, you know, in, in that time period. You know, so th those are the kind of things that, uh, um, you know, that I think were are the most important. Um, uh, actually, one, one other, and, and that is embracing technology and what it can do to make your, your, your company more efficient. Sure. Um, and, uh, and, and looking at ways that you can 
integrate in technology that uh, differently than, than you might have done it in the past. There's so many things changing so quickly that you know, if you don't go and stay on top of what is happening within the marketplace, you could very easily find, you know, find something that's been around for three, four years that would have made your life a lot easier. And, and so that's being staying engaged within, you know, within the community, within the marketplace. Uh, to, 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 to further that comment about technology, does it get harder when you become a larger organization to move, to be nimble? It definitely gets harder. I mean, I, 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 I liken it to, uh, it's a lot easier to, uh, um, uh, to, you know, to turn a speedboat than it is an aircraft carrier. Sure. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't turn the aircraft carrier, just it's a, it's a, it's a longer process. You have to, you know, there's a lot more steps to involved, there's a lot more people involved. Uh, you know, but hopefully the, the, the aircraft carrier has got a lot of systems in place and processes in place that sure. you know, it's, it's going to be able to, you know, to make the turn, but it's, you, know, you, you can't pivot as quickly as when you're a small organization. But do you wish you, you could have moved on some projects or some, some quick, quickly so that you could have gained more market share or, or, or gotten a deal together, but sometimes because the organization got large, um, did you struggle in terms of making sure that you got the right information from the right people at the right time? Yeah, I think that's uh, you know that's any um, uh, any organization that's growing at a rapid pace is, is de deals with that same that, just that very challenge, and you know you got to at some point say I've got enough information I'm going to make a decision, sure, and then live with that decision and don't regret it. Sure, and, you know you can come back and revisit it and say okay I made the wrong decision and you know, a, a year from now and come back and revisit it again. Sure, but you live with that decision, but you got to make a decision. You know just letting it sit out there and 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 uh, uh, keep on you know kicking at it makes no sense. And these are great points. I mean, I think uh, any, anybody who's, 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 who's in Mitch's shoes today uh, should definitely think about, you know, especially hiring the right people and getting the right people on the bus, even sometimes before you need them, uh, is, is going to be crucial. And even having a mentor, I mean, I think uh, that's something that a lot of people talk about, having somebody that can just tell you uh, from, from, because they've been there in different organizations that can tell you, hey, I think this is the way. Sometimes we get stuck in, in our own way of thinking, and, yeah. and sometimes it's hard to get external feedback. So. Yeah. And, and I think you, know, to, you should, whatever size your organization, always be looking at succession plan for how do you grow. Every person, in the way that we've recruited within Dental Care Alliance, it was important that you know, whether you're a dental assistant coming in, sure. there's a career path if you want to grow within the organization. Nice. And you know, you gotta, you got to have a system that grooms those people to the next level. Nice. Because as you grow, um, you, need, you need those folks. They, they're going to be attracted to the organization because of that opportunity. Wow. You need them to fulfill those goals and expectations for them as well as the organization. Uh, you know, going outside, you can, you're going you're to find talent, but you're not going to find talent that understands dentistry. So, you know, you, if you have people that understand dentistry and you can groom them sure. and you can move them along in the organization, and, you know, that's, that's an exciting uh, career opportunity that didn't exist within dentistry uh, just a few short years ago. And now there's a lot of opportunity for folks that, uh, whether you be dental assistants or office managers or, or dentists that want to, you know, that want to be clinical directors or hygienists that want to teach others and mentor others. There's, there's a lot of things that they can do today that they didn't have before when they were just working in a solo practice somewhere. This is a great, great uh, uh, point where we should end on because I think uh, once you give people the path to, to progress, uh, you're going to be able to attract and retain the best people. In your organization. So thank you so much for this discussion. My pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.